So let's let's look at from that that point. So you're uploading every day. Yeah. Um, what does it look like for you to maintain a relationship after the poll sale? How are you keeping these these people in the loop? One thing that I take that I try to to pay a lot of attention is customer service. So I'm if if someone buy I I also mix mix songs and and sell mixes. So if someone buys a mix from me and they don't know how to export the stems or to send the files or they don't know like the vision that they have for the song or something like that or, or a plugin that they don't know something, I'm going to teach them that. Yeah. That brings a lot of value to the person. Like I, I have a lot of, I have a script of like things that I, I send to the person when, when they don't know how to export the stems for, for a mix, for example. So there's tutorials for all the major dolls on how to export. I link them to like places like Dropbox and Google Drive. They they, they can send those files to me. Wow. So that's how I do it. That's how I bring value to the table to that person that's already paying me for something. I got to like bring that to him. And when you do that, the person don't want to leave you. If they are paying a good price for a good service and you got a good customer service, there's no, there's no reason for them to not shop with you again, you know? A hundred percent. I think that's, um, I think a lot of people use like their extra talents, such as mixing and engineering to be an asset as far as their, yeah. but to also be like a, an educational resource. Um, it's hard to come by people who are willing to show you like, the, like even yeah. the most, um, tips and tricks. So um, I think, that's a great way to build trust. And I think that that's also very kind of you um, <laughs> just from like a human standpoint, you know? So I think that's pretty dope. 